Who's there? It's me. Who's me? Me, Arietti. Arietti who? Arietti Clock, down here. How did you get into my room? I flew. Very funny. Do you live up here? Maybe. Where about? Here and there. When I bought that book, you'd gone. I had to. Why? My father called me. Mm. Did you take the letter? Yes. And I brought it back again the next day. You did? And there's a message from your uncle in it. Show me. Tell me where you live. No. Now give me the letter. I won't tell anyone else. I promise I won't. It's mine. Give it to me. I can't keep a secret. I haven't said anything about seeing you to anyone. Give it to me! We are well. Yours fatfully. U H. U H. Oh. Uncle Henry. What's yours fatfully mean? I think it means I have plenty to eat. Do you? Well, most of the time. But when Mrs. Driver makes cakes and things, the smell comes down through the floorboards and it makes me very hungry. Yes. It must. Ariadne. Father. <laughs> Please, can't we talk about this? Oh, talk about it, all right. I was going to tell you. It's easy saying going to, it's easy saying that now. Marietti, why are you out of bed? Your daughter's been upstairs. Upstairs? In the nursery. The boy's still here. She's been talking to him. Oh, no. Oh, yes. How could you? It's all right, it really is. Look. It's a letter I wrote to Uncle Hendrovi. The boy delivered it for me. Human beings delivering letters, whatever next. How could you go and talk to him? I didn't go and talk to him. I was seen by him. I couldn't help it. I know I should have told you. I just didn't want you getting all upset about it. Anyway, you knew about him already, didn't you? And you didn't tell me, did you? He said we were a dying race. So I just had to find out if Uncle Hendrowi and Aunt Lydia and the cousins were still alive. And they are. Because he wrote back. Look. We are well. Yours faithfully, you ain't. Faithfully, yours faithfully. Oh, I see. Well, it can't spell. Well, that's not the point. I'm trying to save us. It strikes me as you're trying to finish us off. But don't you see? I got in touch with Uncle Henry and Aunt Lupi so we can all stick together. But what are they supposed to do? Come back here? Would you want us to go and live with them? Out in the open with no hot water laid on? But if we went... Wait. wait! The fact is, you told a human being where we live. I haven't. I wouldn't. You have? I heard you. She said about Mrs. Driver's cooking, how the smell coming down through the floorboards. Made her hungry. Because he's only got to put two and two together, hasn't he? Oh, Arietti. What you've done has never been done before. Never. In all our long history. Borrowers have been seen. Borrowers might even have been caught. But no borrower has ever told a human being where they live. I didn't mean to. I know you didn't mean to. But if you hadn't talked to him, and you didn't have to, we wouldn't be in the Oh, don't believe that. It's the truth, and she's old enough for that. And besides, it's not just us. She told him where the Hendrieries are. It only takes a trained dog, and they're done for. Betty, how could you? He's just a boy. He's a human being. But he hasn't done anything to us. No, because he didn't know where we are. Well, I don't think human beings are as bad as you make them out to me. They're good, and they're bad. You just... Don't know. And you can never trust them. I'm telling you, my girl, from 
no one, you steer clear of them. Not just this one. 